Hello everybody, this is Mini here, M-I-N-I-0-0-1-3-X-X, and I am going to show you, for the first time ever in, you know, history of ever, the version 0 0.50 Guadalcanal map by yours truly. Right now, this is currently stomping any other version. Why? Well, first of all, um, uh, well, I didn't have a lot of fun making it, it has improved greatly in most if not all areas. Let's start with the simple fact that well it's more complete now. Now this isn't the the crappy more complete that you saw before in previous updates. No, this is a big stride, a huge stride. So big as a matter of fact that well I didn't make most things possible. I have made it so you can walk behind here and take pot shots from the enemies while they can't see you. That actually wasn't a plan, but you know, just so happens that you can do it. Now I have to get out of this. But I don't know how. I'm just gonna restart. Alright, so I have added a bunch of enemies, which I really, really, really want to, uh, incorporate sound into this, but I don't know how yet. <clears throat> I hope you do see like the devotion and the love that I put into this. Yes, I put in love. My hard day's work. I made out with this map once. So, you know, I've, I've gone a little further, but, you know. Keeping it clean for the, for the younger ones here. So, yeah. So it makes this map, uh... So amazing. Is that... I actually spent time working on this. And of course, you know, whoever spends time working on something really, really, really wants to, you know, showcase it. Now, I'm not a person to hide it till I'm finished. I just like to throw it out there and get people excited and probably never make it. Well, this I'm pretty sure now that I'm gonna make it. I mean, I don't know, man. It all just depends. Now, I actually did live up more to my expectation. However, I did fail one thing, and that was entirely complete that side. That's right. But instead, I gave you a whole lot more, which you will be able to view in just a short moment. But uh, right now, I'm slowly but surely dealing with enemies. By the way, I'm making this just an area that you can go to at all times. Because, uh... Yeah, I I don't think it it'd be fun for the player to be, you know, not allowed to just you know to go back in this little area here. So yeah, ooh. <laughs> also notice that you probably won't have to run around as much in the actual version, and there won't be floating people. That's for sure. I gotta learn how to make respawning enemies by the way, because I want to do that World at War styled combat system. But, uh... Yeah, this is no doubt a major improvement, and I hope that anybody who sees this and has watched the previous versions thinks that, well, maybe it wasn't worth the wait, but you know what? It's pretty good. So, first of all, I learned how to use those, uh, those blend maps. That's why, you know, you have this stuff here now. Yeah, and so, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and show you everything. Now, first of all, I put a railing. Actually, no, I'm going to bring it in with all the changes. So, first of all, this, boom. That entire top section and anywhere past this area, all new. Uh, now here I actually wanted to make it different a little bit I just realized that those textures aren't complete but luckily for me this isn't exactly you know a full version now here I wanted to make it look really really prosperous right here because uh, you can't really see it but on the actual like especially in the editor you can see this area is really green but I, I actually need uh, light maps before I can even 
show anybody that, which I'm actually also going to have to read up a tutorial on that, because I don't know how to light map very well. And this is where it ends, because this is actually the start of the second encounter. And here, well, I just didn't add a barrier here. I'm also going to allow you to come up here now. Because, yeah, but, uh... I'm going to make a one-sided wall so you can't, like, jump back up. Because, you know, that'd be pretty, pretty lame. If you could just skip that entire area that I worked so hard to build. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Now, there's more to it than what you think. I mean, this right here, these issues, they really do bug me. Now, it's not as bad as the one that was in the ground right there, but for example like this, that shouldn't be invisible. I mean, look at that. It's closed on that side, but on this side, it appears as though there's an opening. You know, you have this. You know. Obviously, if you can throw a grenade through it, but can't shoot through it, and it's obviously a, a bug. I don't understand why it does that, but apparently the more I edit, especially the more I edit around it, the more it changes. Now, when I first made this, I just decided to have this area here, and then I said, you know what? I'm going to put a railing up here, because after all, a railing would actually make it go much, much you know, easier. I added palm fonds down here, I added you know, coconuts and stuff. Actually, I don't think I added any coconuts down here. But, you know, I made more ferns and everything. There's a banana tree. I think that's a banana tree. I'm not sure. But, yeah, there's another one right there. But now, I didn't just want this to be another boring fence like this. So I made it so that those fences are actually destroyed. And you can see the little tidbits on the ground right here. that you can walk straight through, but that's, you know, gameplay purposes. It's non-colliding. So, um, yeah. I feel like I'm, I've got the Russian forearms. But I'm not sure that I do. Anyway, back in a no clip. Alright, so there are a couple things that I still need to accomplish. For example, entirely fixing this whole coral reef area again. Um, this area back here, if I could say anything about it, say pain in the ass. I mean, why does this happen right here? This, this black shroud thing that just, no. Anyway, yeah, so there's a lot to be done underwater, which I always forget because it's always like the water's always stuck over. I still need to add the top of this area right here, but you don't really see that unless if you're, you know, over here at the very end of the game, so, or end of the level. I'm also going to make it so at the end of the level you can walk across this whole area. So I might actually, like, make this area bulge out a little more just at the top. You know, I, I put a lot of work into this, you can see that. Except I overdid it with the coconuts right there. Yeah. But, you know. Um. Well. Yeah, there's a lot to actually say about this, though. I, don't know, I feel accomplished in my, you know, just me, because... It's, I, I made it, and it took me a while, and you know, you know how it goes. So yeah, there's a lot ahead of me, actually. For example, um, I'm actually going to do an entire next update based solely on the encounter of that area. Now, what you saw was just a bunch of mayhem. That's not actually how it's going to be. You're not just going to be fighting enemies that are ridiculously just going, you know, just shooting at you. What's Well, that's what they're actually going to be doing, but, you know, these guys aren't actually supposed to be up here, but I think I'm going to add them just for the effect. 
also what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so, uh, you know, the, there's going to be the guys in here like it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? And here going. You know, you can get into this, but I wonder if you can get out. Oh yeah, you can. I don't think you can get it in. Uh, I don't think you can get it in this one though, like that. I don't know. I've never actually done that before. So, hey, you learn something new about your map every single time you play it. I mean, I made it, and I don't even know everything. Who knows? Yeah, and so that's pretty much it. Added a couple more trees. Then I detailed the crap out of it. And next update is going to be version 0 0.51. Now you might be thinking, why 0 0.51 and not 0 0.60? Well, 0 0.51 is going to be the encounter all the way across here. And yeah, there is also going to be a little bit added down to there because some soldiers do run down there. Just, uh... Yeah. If you want to see the full panoramic view of how it will look like when you get to the end there, I gotta say, it looks pretty neat. It looks really nice. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again in the version 0 0.51 update, not 6.0. Remember that. Once again, it's because I'm, uh, creating the encounters for this little area before I move on. Just gotta say, this is actually, I'm impressed with myself. I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep bragging to myself a lot, so I should probably stop. I mean, started out with the videos, I was right here, and then it slowly grew, and then I just went like, I'm done. And then I went, I'm back, and I did this. And I'm probably gonna say, I'm done, and I'm back like a thousand times, because that's just how I am. I quit and then I return and I quit and I return. I always do it because that's what I do. That's what I do, you know? So, yeah. So, um, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys later. And as custom, I have to kill myself at the very end. And as I don't have any more grenades, I'm gonna fall. Yes, by the way, I know that sort of looks like a giant box.